Dad, I want to do some things. Go for it. <laughs> I need a grown up to help me. I'll help you. Episode two, Dollfish Tension. All right, for today's experiments, you're going to need some dish soap, some pepper, some water, a bowl, a penny, a dropper, and some metal paper clips or、uh, clothes pins. And first thing you want to do is go ahead and put the water in your bowl, and then use your dropper to fill、uh, the barrel of the syringe. And you're going to go ahead and start placing droplets of water. On your penny, and the idea here is to find out how many droplets you can fit、uh, on a single penny. Pause here. So all three of the experiments we're going to look at today have to do with surface tension, and surface tension is a property of water and other liquids in which the molecules that make The liquid up actually tend to stick together, and we'll kind of take a look at why that is a little bit later. I was pretty impressed at how many droplets of water I could fit on my penny,、um, until finally, of course, you couldn't hold any more.、Uh, one thing I did find is if you don't have a dropper,、uh, you can practice a little bit and just use your finger. Um, so, if you don't have that dropper, you can still do the experiment. So, for this next part here, you're going to take your bowl of water and take your metal、uh, paper clips or safety pins and just kind of drop them in, see what happens. Next, I want you to carefully place the paper clips on the surface of the water and see if you can get them to stay there. Now I doubt you had too much luck getting them to sit on the surface, but what you can do is take a small piece of tissue and place it in the water, and then place your paper clip on top of it.、Uh, the paper tissue will become saturated with water and it will sink, and your paper clip, however, will rest right there on the surface. So what's going on here? How are these objects that are heavier or more dense than water floating on the surface? Well. This is the surface tension of the water in action.、Uh, the molecules of water stick together, and they can support、uh, the weight of these objects as long as they're floating right on top. And you can see if there's any type of disruption in the surface, if the paper clip is not exactly flat,、uh, they tend to sink.、Um, it's interesting. I found that the larger paper clips seem to be easier、uh, to get to stay on the surface than the smaller ones. Okay, for this last experiment, you're going to want to take your pepper and cover the surface of the water、uh, with the pepper. Really, just ground pepper works best for this. And then take your dish soap and put some soap on your index finger, smear it around, and then take your finger and place it right in the center of the bowl. And you'll see the pepper falls away to the sides. The motion science. So to figure out what's going on here, you have to know a little bit about water and what it is made of. It's made of two hydrogen atoms and an oxygen atom. The water molecule is bent, meaning that it's not symmetrical, and you end up with these hydrogen atoms that have a positive charge on one side, and the oxygen atom, which is negatively charged, kind of hogs the electrons. So it acts like a little magnet. This is what causes surface tension and allows water to stick to itself. So instead of water laying flat in the bowl, it actually forms a curved surface. It's not this extreme, but you can see this if you pour water all the way up to the top of a glass. It's called a convex meniscus. So going back to our experiment, if you actually zoom in to the water molecules, what soap does is it breaks the surface tension of water, meaning the water molecules no longer stick together. So in the case of our experiment, the pepper. Uh, it's kind of falling to the outside of the bowl because、uh, the surface tension has has been broken by the soap. You can also see this here、uh, with the paper clips; they fall when soap is entered into the water. Thanks for tuning in today. I want to say a big thank you again to my family for helping me make these videos. Let me know how your exploration and surface tension goes.